Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name's Will. This is the Women YouTube channel. If you're new here, before we get into today's video, if you guys can do me a massive favor, scroll down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free for you guys to subscribe and what it really does is it helps me out by pleasing the whole YouTube algorithm and growing on the platform as a creator. So if you like modifying, you like trucks, you like Jeeps, you like cars, or if you just wanna be supportive, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It really does mean the world to me. So with that sales pitch out of the way, let's get into today's video. So today we're gonna be back on with the new Jeep Gladiator. Um, these are something that I haven't really seen too many people install. Um, they are some side stirrups from Archetype Racing. These are a full billet aluminum side step. So they're pretty expensive, but they are pretty sweet. Um, they install onto the factory rock rails, the Mopar ones, so they should be pretty cool. I really didn't want to uh, get rid of those rock rails because I think they really do look good and they kind of cover that little pinch seam weld like that's on the Gladiator. So these will be really cool. So they're on the workbench over here. Let me turn you around and show you exactly what I'm referring to. So as you can see right here, little instructions, some Jeep stirrups from Archetype Racing. And these things, are amazing quality they're all wrapped up here right now but as you can see they are a sidestep they are billet aluminum like i said and they have been anodized in the black so we got four of them here that we're going to be installing onto our gladiator so the install should be pretty simple gonna go ahead as always make a little time lapse put some notes up onto the screen um, this really shouldn't take all too long. It shouldn't really be all too much of a uh, complex installation. They're just these four side steps here. And then you got the corresponding, um, they're kind of like a clamp bracket. But once I get all of this opened up, I'll go ahead and I'll show you and then we'll get the time lapse going of the actual install. All right, here they are all assembled and unwrapped. As you can see, it's just these three pieces that you need to attach on there. They basically clamp onto the stock uh, rock rail. So what we need to do now are pop off the two rock rails from the Gladiator, and then we can go ahead and start installing all these. Like I said, it should be pretty simple and pretty straightforward to do, so let's go ahead and get it done. Okay, so we got them installed onto the rail right now. As you can see, it's just clamps directly on there. These pieces come apart, and then it's just with like Allen bolts up here. So as you can see, it's just clamped on there. So got one for the rear, one for the back over here. As you can see, this is for the passenger side, still removed. And right over here, you can see, we're just bolting it all down. So pretty cool, pretty simple. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this side on there now. All right, and the install finally done. They are kind of a pain in the ass to figure out where to exactly put them. To do, you know, the instructions aren't the most thorough, but as you can see, they're on there and they're very, very sturdy as you can see. So if you're looking to keep the factory Mopar rail, these are a great option. Um, in my opinion, they are definitely overpriced for what they are. It's like 900 bucks for two of these, but I will have a coupon code in the description below where you could save like 20% off. So if you do want to go ahead and pick these up for your Gladiator or JL Wrangler, go ahead, use that coupon code and save a little bit of money. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Quick one today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all later.